Hi, this is Sess. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today, I'll be showing you step by step how I made this DIY baseball cap treat box that's been trending all over social media. So follow along with me while I create this beautiful cap box. Let's get started! So I got my SVG saved on my desktop. I got this SVG file from Etsy. Please see my description box for the link. You can also get this from svgcuts.com. Open your design space. Click Upload. Click Upload Image. Then click Browse. And then from here, I'm going to select my SVG file. Click Open. And then from here, you only have one option. Cut Image. Hit Upload. Then click the first box. Then click Add to Canvas. And then from here, you will see it all grouped together. We'll fix that later. For now, we're gonna make a template so that we can maximize the size of our baseball cap to the size of our mat. I'm gonna click Shapes, and then I'll choose the square one, and then I'll adjust the size to 11.5 by 11.5. So now my view is currently in 25% and I'm going to increase it to 50. And then I'll send this template to back. As you can see, my file is still all grouped together because I want them all adjusted to the same size. We don't want a smaller one and a bigger one. I want to resize my SVG and I want a bigger cap so I'm going to maximize the size of the cap to the size of our template. I'm going to ungroup the file. So I'm going to delete this ball because I don't need that and this red circle. So the broken lines that we see here are needed to be attached to the image because they will serve as the score lines to help us fold the pieces easily. So we're going to attach them one by one. Now I'm going to delete the box because I don't need that anymore. Now we can go ahead and click make it. Now as we can see here, it has 8 different mats. And it will just cut in sequence, so let's just go ahead and continue. Select medium cardstock and I always adjust my pressure to more press the flash and go button on your machine. So I'm going to be using this Aline's Tacky Glue and a combination of hot glue. When hot gluing this, I would suggest to go portion by portion because I noticed by the time I put the papers together, the hot glue has already dried out.
so you can see the broken lines that I was talking about earlier that will serve as the score lines to help us fold this piece easily. So we're going to start with the crown of the hat. Now we're done with the crown of the hat.
this one we want it glued and pushed all the way to the box And we're gonna need this sticker paper for the logos. And there you have it! How awesome is this treat box? Just put some shredded papers, add some cookies, candies, chocolates, small gifts, or anything you want to add on yours. Thanks for watching! Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next episode of DIY by Sess!